Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back as I received this lovely parcel today um, from someone I've been doing a few swaps with and hopefully can do some more as well. This is Squatch Craft, the lovely Laura Jane. Um, and we agreed to swap a, I'm trying to think, what do you call it? A bit like a loaded envelope, but like a double loaded envelope i'm not sure i think it's one that, that she had seen on wendy loves crafting's channel and um said let's have a go at swapping one of those so i sent mine off before i went on holiday just because i i, I was concerned i wasn't going to get it done otherwise um and now i've got her one back as i said to her i don't there's no point sending it whilst i'm away um so yeah and to start off with there is this absolutely lovely card and i've just been looking at this it's hard to tell with this funny lighting that's a bit better isn't it but she's this paper which looks like that shiny paper that comes in this pack lovely pack i think it was like the range um the lovely shimmery paper but she's embossed it which is really clever i never thought of embossing that paper because it's already got its own texture i'm gonna sneeze her <coughs> sorry about that Hopefully I'm not coming down with the bugs. I've seen some of the other people at school having. But yeah, it's really beautiful and I love those colours. And obviously anything like sea-like and fishes and things like that is absolutely perfect. Um, thank you so much for doing this support with me. I really enjoyed making this for you. Almost at Easter holes, she said. So um, she obviously made this before then and then only one term left because um, Laura Jane's also a teacher so we both appreciate the old countdown to summer. Hope you're having a great year at school. And the lovely thing she said about me having, doing videos. It's very sweet, isn't it? I'm still not brave enough to make videos. And if you're watching this, um, do make videos. I don't even show my face on videos because I don't want to scare the world. Um, so it doesn't require that much bravery. And it's great to watch people. You know, I can never subscribe to enough YouTubers because there's always, there's always somebody that I would you know there's always i'm always waiting for more videos i love watching them so i have opened up one of the parcels and it was this gorgeous box i've not looked inside yet but just look at how she's made that so just neatly done isn't it and then i'm gonna open that a second and then there's this one i didn't open it i partnered with there and he was like and i was saying to him no, i mustn't i'll save it to do a video so i think we'll open up this one first because this one looks like it might be the envelope. So it's all wrapped up in lovely tissue paper. I can see my name. Oh, hello. Something has fallen out already. And yes, and that does look similar to the one that I've made. So that reassures me that I must have made the right thing. Um, I say, make today amazing. I do always try. <laughs> today amazing it was my first sort of proper day back at school today because yesterday I was on a training course um so the kids were back at school but they didn't have me teaching them lucky little children so uh yes yeah, so trying to give them a good day so with these ones you get the envelope on one side and then you turn it over and you get an envelope on this side and she's added in a little flippy bit to hold it down I actually have no recollection now of what I did um and I don't tend to film my outgoing ones. I think partly in case other people want to do it, although I know she doesn't do videos, I guess. And another part just because, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And friends, that's so sweet. So she has become a good friend now. So I can say that in, in the sense that we've never met, but we, <laughs> we've done a few swaps and we have intentions, I believe, to do more. So that's lovely. And let's have a look inside here because I can tell already she has stuffed it with goodies. So, oh, hello, I've missed one as well. And they're quite sturdy, these little things. So there's a gorgeous little wooden frame. And I do like my wooden bits and bobs. Um, and also painting them up. And I'm one of these people that once I start painting stuff, I have to paint everything. I like look around for stuff that I can paint. It's addictive. You know, just with like chalk paint or acrylic paint or something. I don't know if anyone else has that weird addiction with paint. I just start painting stuff to decoupage. These are beautiful, aren't they? She's made these for me. Lovely butterflies and all this shimmery paper. Gorgeous. I'm going to move that out because it's a bit of a glare, isn't it? And then there's a cute embossing folder. That's a sweet one. I've not seen anything like that one that would go nicely with some of my sort of cooking based items that i've got love the wood grain i'm all about wood grain 
and here oh a little anchor i also don't own it's nice when people give you stuff you like i don't own this um which is lovely look at that so obviously anything sea related um i just have to have <laughs> I love it. I've got a little anchor one, but this is a much bigger one. So it's definitely going to go towards a project. That's one of the hobby craft dies. Um, and what have we got here? Some more. Oh dear, I feel like I'm getting a runny nose. It's no good, is it? Am I coming down with something? These are some of those hunky-dory papers I recognise because I've got quite a few packs now. But I've, I don't think I've got those ones. They're really cute, aren't they, cats? Um, and that's like a wildlife one. That's really pretty. And I like the way she's given me more than one sheet of the same. You must have heard me say that I, I like to uh, pop them up, like cut bits out and um, decoupage. Yeah, would that be the word? Popping it up. And that's a cute one, isn't it? Is that congratulations, Weddy, or congratulations, you've had a duckling? I'm not sure. Could be either, I guess. Almost looks kind of baby-like to me, so maybe that's for a baby. Um, let's see, because I also noticed that she's popped some bits inside these little pockets. And she has these really cool stickers. I pointed this out before. Had her own stickers made. Really cool. Um, so let's have a look at these ones. And these are like little rectangular embellishments with seahorses. So cute, that seahorse, isn't it? Make a splash, surfs up, sending a wave. Lovely. And let's have a look at these ones. I like to, when, when people have made packaging, I'm always so re reluctant to open the packaging up. I think, oh, we'll spoil it. Um, let's open this one. Oh, I just love those. They're so pretty, aren't they, those flowers? And these hearts are really gorgeous, aren't they? That's a really nice dye, isn't it? We'll have to ask her to put the name of the dye in the comments if you're watching, in case anyone wants to get that. But that's really nice, really effective. Really nice. But once you see this, you're like, oh, I want this dye now. Although I'm like, mustn't buy any more craft stuff for a while. But it makes me want that dye. <laughs> and then on this side, let's have a look in. Oh, there's something else there. So there's some gorgeous little... Then I'm looking better there. They, they aren't sequins, are they? They're little gems, little jewels. Lovely. And little flowers. And, and round gems. Gorgeous. And these, are these rub-ons? Are they rub-ons or are they stickers? They're stickers. Are they stickers? I'm pretty sure they're stickers. They need a bit of fiddling with, otherwise they're just going to pop out. I think they're stickers. That's really sweet, isn't it, really? Um, natural world. Let's have a look at these. Lovely. They kind of remind me of autumn. Oh, cats and things. At the moment, I sort of can't look at cat stuff because it makes me sad. My cat Tilly is still missing. And I don't know. We went out again yesterday and put up even more posters just because I thought maybe... You know, maybe just on the off chance, but still nothing. And there's some lovely gems as well. And you can always use gems. So that's gorgeous. So they're, they're quite cool, these, aren't they? I've not made one before. And she says Jess is making them. But you get all these different places. So it's Wendy Loves Crafting that we got the tutorial for this from. Um, so check it out. But moving on to this box before I run out of time. I love the paper that's been used on here. And it's so beautifully made, isn't it? So some gorgeous washi tape. And I have to sort of take a, a step back. So I'm looking through the camera and realise I actually can't see it properly. Um, I love that. And that's like sprinkles. And what's this one? It's a little whale. What's that? Can't quite tell. Is that a cow? Is that a cow? Why would a cow be in the sea? It's like a unicorn cow. Get out of the sea, unicorn cow. It's a bit random, isn't it? Let's have a look and see if this is a, it is a sea unicorn cow. I don't know. I need to look at that more closely. Um, so before I run out of video time, I need to get a new iPhone. That's like next on the list. Gorgeous gems. And then does this lift up? I'm like curious because I can feel that it's heavy. So, oh, maybe I have to take the ribbon off. It didn't come with instructions. It's like I went into school and there was a new um, smart board or whatever you call it. And they didn't leave any instructions. No way of me knowing how to use it. Wow, that is awesome, isn't it? I've never seen one like that before. What dye is that? It's probably something fancy like a tonic dye, isn't it? So gorgeous jewel ribbon in there. Try to make sure it's all in focus. 
some lovely paper clips. I'm doing it quickly now because I'm conscious of the time. Um, oh, that's a little key dangle thing. I love those. And some lovely little bits there, which can be used on my projects. And down the bottom, some gorgeous sequins. But I'm mostly impressed by this awesome box, um, which all seems to join back up and then have a little lid. That's really clever, isn't it? I oh, know that's not a lid. Is it a lid? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I need to look. That's a really clever little box. I'm very impressed with that. So thank you very much to the lovely Squadge Crafts, um, Laura Jane. She doesn't have a channel on YouTube, but she is on, um, what's the other one? Instagram. Um, and yeah, if you're watching, thank you so much for that. And yeah, we'll have to be in touch about what we're going to swap next. And I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye.